Daylight savings time has it so dark out here, but it's 7.30 a.m. So this year for our anniversary, we're headed back to Cancun. Um, we're going to a different resort this time, but always love Cancun. They always have great weather. It's like so dark. So why are we going to the airport 7.30 a.m. for an 11? What time is our flight? Eleven o'clock flight. Just get the parking is what us down. Yeah, we live in Atlanta, so we have to account. You got to be extra early for everything. So, and this isn't really a flight I'd want to miss. Are there any other ones going out to Cancun today? Well, I'm sure there are, but I mean, might not get a seat. <laughs> right? Exactly. You might not get a seat. Might not get on it. Oh yeah, and then he he wants to go early to get to go to the new is it the Centurion Centurion Lounge. So, um, which I never met anyone who goes to the airport early just to hit the lounges. It's such a Y'all know anyone who goes to the airport early just for the lounge? Like, I'm not going just to go lounge. Now, it is convenient if you're coming back from somewhere and your flight's delayed or you just need someone to hang, somewhere to hang out. But I'm not going early just to go to the lounge. But I am now because I got husband with me, so. Let's hope we make it to uh, make it at a decent hour to actually be able to enjoy it. The MX Centurion Lounge is located in the Atlanta Airport in Concourse E near Gate 11. It is a really pretty nice place to relax. It has Wi-Fi, a lot of seating, workstations, there's even showers in the bathroom, there's food, drinks. Every time I've gone there, there's always been kind of a soul food thing going on. It's been, all the food's been really good. If you're into whiskey, there's a whiskey bar called The Reserve, and then there's another, there's other bars around as well. There's indoor seating areas, outdoor seating areas. Fun fact, apparently the, uh, this Centurion Lounge is the world's biggest Amex Centurion Lounge. If you are a mom and haven't taken advantage of these mom pods in the airport, I would say they're definitely a great place for privacy. If you want to pump or feed your baby, you really just need to download the um, app and it'll tell you all the locations of the pods in your area as well as access codes. But they're really just great for privacy overall. Here we are arriving in Cancun. The flight itself went great. You really can't take video and pictures and customs, but if you're traveling through to Cancun, there is a checkpoint where you have to show your passport before proceeding on to get your luggage. The wait to get our luggage, in my opinion, really wasn't any slower than some of the other airports that I've been in.
Once we arrived at the resort, we were greeted with a concierge and they offered us a nice towel to cool off with. The Moon Palace Grand, the lobby definitely lived up to its name as it's huge. You walk right into a big lobby with high ceilings. Everything's very well lit, very clean. It was pretty busy when we were there. The resort itself has a lot of restaurants. I think I read 17 total on the property. It is all inclusive. So all the food, all the drinks, they were included. They have um, a variety ranging from Mexican, seafood, there's a steakhouse, Asian, Italian, there's a coffee bar, a dessert bar. There's also 13 bars noted on the property as well. So that's something if you're a big drinker, there's plenty of places for you to get a drink. Um, here we are walking to check in and you can see some of the stores there at the resort and the restaurants. There was also a buffet style restaurant. If you're not sure exactly what type of food you want, they had a variety there. And 17 restaurants gives you also an idea of how huge this property was and the variety of food that you can find. Overall, the grounds were just really beautiful. Here I am in the bathroom. I waited to make sure everyone was gone, but I wanted to get a view of this bathroom because it was beautiful. I was able to feed my daughter whenever I needed to just kind of get away. There were some lounge chairs, a really nice seating area there. I also toured the Wired Lounge, which is geared more toward kids. It's a video game area that your teenager or young younger tween would love. Walking around, we found this hidden speakeasy bar located behind a series of bookshelves. So it, it is adults only, but definitely a cool place for parents, adults to relax if you just wanna get away for an evening out. The property also has a nightclub and a, and a day club, but we didn't really go there, but there is a club. They do karaoke nights and we heard it was a lot of fun. There are shuttles located all around the property like I said, it's a huge property. So there are shuttles located at these kind of bus stops and you could certainly walk around um, from our from the lobby to building 93 where we stayed. It's about a 10 minute walk, but just arriving with luggage, probably not the most ideal time. So we hopped a ride. We stayed in building 93 on the second floor. And if you haven't noticed by now, like how big the property is, there are over 1,000 rooms on the property. All the rooms have Wi-Fi access, smart TVs, coffee makers, whirlpool tubs, mini bars. Um, the mini bars are stocked every day. It is all inclusive as well. So all the rooms you could order room service pretty much any time of the day.
We stayed in building 93, room 243, which is a grand governor suite. It's pretty awesome. Once you walk in, there is a bathroom to the right that would accommodate, like if you had guests over to your room so they don't have to go to your personal bathroom. There's also a dining room with kind of like this kitchenette area, microwave, bar. We had the king size bed and in room jacuzzi with a balcony outside. Bathrooms were also very nice, very big and spacious. There was a living room area, but it looks like here it was set up for people to sleep there. We had them come and take these beds out and set up our set our living room back up. There were two twin beds that fit there though. If you happen to need extra space or just wanted some other people to sleep in the room, that could be an option. We didn't need it though, so we had them, you know, come take those out and put the living room back together. The suites below us have a swimming pool, so if you're looking to stay here and you like the whole swim up concept, the suites below in building 93 have a swim out um, porch where you can go directly from your back porch into a swimming, swimming pool. But overall, everything was just beautiful in this suite. Again, this is the governor suite room 243. If you end up staying here and just curious about this particular building. The next day I had to get up and check out my favorite area, which would be the gym. I'm always curious to see how different gyms look at the different properties. This one was really nice. If you've been to the LeBlanc resorts, it kind of has the same feel with you walk in, you have the waters and snacks there with the towels and everything. Um, so they definitely do a great job of making sure you stay hydrated, making sure that the gym stays clean so i like that about this particular property i'm still working on my mom pooch post-pregnancy belly situation so i've got some cover-ups that are kind of cute they just kind of cover them up but yeah all right so we're headed to breakfast and then we have um a quick tour that we're doing of the property. If you ever come to these properties, they always want you to tour them and see what's going on. So I don't mind doing the tour. They give you like extra 500 bucks or something like that, so. All right, so we are headed to dinner. In true fashion, my husband has met some people at the pool and we're going to dinner with people. I have no clue who these people are. <laughs> Why are you, you're laughing because it's fashion. in true fashion. Everywhere we go, he meets someone and we're either socializing with them or we happen to, you know how you like see the same people at the resort? That has happened. And then it's like, oh, we're sitting over here, come sit. I'm, I'm not that person, but you know, yin and yang, we are like opposites. So, hey. So yeah, I have no clue who these people are. We're, oh, I met somebody at the pool, they invited us to dinner. And how long did y'all talk at the pool, honey? <sighs> they talked for, they talked for a couple hours at the pool. Yeah.
look, is anyone into Gracie's Corner? Our daughter loves Gracie's Corner. So this is a lullaby song that she ends up going to sleep with. And she may have gone to sleep a little bit earlier if he wasn't singing so loud. But yeah, we love Gracie's Corner. Hopefully we don't get flagged for playing this song in the background. But yeah, some of her songs have us as adults dancing right along with the baby. <laughs> it's another beautiful morning. Headed to work out. I did not eat a whole lot yesterday, but um, still a beautiful morning. Just want to get up and move, enjoy the weather. I stole stole my husband's iPods because I don't I didn't bring any, and I like to listen to music and stuff when I work out, and I didn't have that yesterday. I can't do this video without highlighting the water park area and the kids club. Walking back from the gym, I figured would be a great time to highlight the water park. So there were multiple play areas for kids to splash and play, as well as kiddie swimming pools. There's a lazy river. There's a huge, uh, large water slides that you'll see here. There's also a kids club, and here are some of the pictures from the website. They're showing the game room, bumper cars, all kind of fun stuff that they had just for kids. I didn't bring my older ones on this trip, so I didn't really take advantage of this area, but I think most kids would find all of this stuff extremely fun. You can use the app for the resort to order room service. So I had ordered breakfast room service the night before. So by the time I got back from the gym, it was ready and waiting for me. And um, it's just really convenient. Like I mentioned, everything here is all inclusive. That includes room service as well. Three, two, one. Here I am ready to go to the beach and we pretty much hung out at the pool and beach all day for the rest of the day. That night we had dinner at Habibi which is a restaurant that serves Lebanese food. We ordered hummus, salads, lamb, so good. All the food here was just excellent. All right, so this is our last day. We are packing up to leave. I feel like I skipped a couple things along the way, but it's our last day. How did you enjoy this day, babe? Uh, so far, it's fine. This is a great resort for family. If you have family and young kids that you wanted to go out and um, enjoy some time with just you and your wife, I'd probably choose a different resort. Choose LeBlanc. If you haven't seen my videos on LeBlanc, if you're just a couple, LeBlanc is 
the place to be. Now, if you have kids, what did you call it? The LeBlanc of, with kids? Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I feel like it is LeBlanc vibe with kids. So, definitely better than um, the Jamaica one. I feel like it was better than Jamaica. Yeah.